here for Centrum team selection with John Longmire. John, what are the changes for Saturday afternoon's clash with St Kilda? Out of the team goes Reece Shaw and Ben McGlynn, then into the team comes Biggs and also Dean Towers. Last week's match against Port was a pretty tough one and you mentioned earlier in the week that there were a few boys who'd put up a bit sore. Obviously McGlynn and Shaw were, were some of those guys. How are they travelling this week and why are they out? Yeah, we were hoping that both would get up this week, um, but uh, unfortunately not. I mean, Ben McGlynn had a sore calf during the course of the game. We expect him to be OK by the back end of the week, but we had to put him forward in the last quarter of last week's game and uh, he played out of the goal square and because uh, his calf was sore during the course of the game, but unfortunately hasn't come up, so he's out with a sore calf. And Reece Shaw's ankle that he hurt a few weeks ago is, is still a little bit sore from the game on the weekend, and uh, he wasn't able to train today at all. And not being able to train, it gives him no chance to come up on the weekend. He's usually a good judge of whether he can play or not, so he's, his ankle's too sore to play. And Nick Smith's another one who hasn't returned this week after having a bit of a sore back. How's he trained this week? Oh, he hasn't done a lot this week. He uh, did a little bit of training today, um, but it was only, only a small bit and it wasn't enough to get him over the line. He was moving certainly better than what he was last week, but it got to the stage where he was still picking up a few ground balls. He felt a little bit stiff and didn't think he'd be able to get through the game. He thought he might be able to he'd be in a bit of trouble, particularly early in the game, so it was too big a risk to play him this week. Um, in case he just got injured and he was out of the team and didn't last any longer than a quarter time. so. He's not back and hopefully he's okay for next week. Shane Biggs is turning into a little bit of an end of year specialist after mm. the time he came in last year. He's been playing really well in the reserves and was recently elevated. It's great to give him another chance. Yeah, he deserves his chance as he did last year at this time of the year. He, he's kept persisting and playing really well and consistently uh, at a really high level in our reserves for the, for the whole season. And particularly the last five or six weeks, he's been fantastic. So it's great to get him, give, give him a chance and he deserves it. And, and he did do a good job for us last year. He's played the level before and looked comfortable, so we're really looking forward to giving him a go. And another game for, for Dean Towers, who went out last week? Yeah, Dean comes back into the team, and we just needed that you know, absolute speed in our team, and obviously lose, losing uh, losing a couple of quick players, and, and sure, and McGlynn, we wanted to get some more speed back in the team, so Dean Towers comes into the team this week. And there's a handful of young players who are pushing pretty hard for a, for a senior selection at this time of year. Who are some of the other guys who came close this week? Yeah, Brandon Jack, um, Zach Jones, uh, Tom Mitchell, those guys are, are all been close, uh, but they just need some more game time. All of them haven't played full games um, over the last couple of weeks, so they need to be in the mix as far as playing a full, full reserves game, which will hopefully happen this week. So. Those three in particular need to get a full game under their belt and uh, and make sure that they're running the game out in the reserves before they come back in the senior selection calculations and hopefully they'll get through this week's game before they can pull up well next week. And looking at the match, St Kilda have had an up and down year but we saw just how good they were against Fremantle a couple of weeks ago. I guess you can't take anything for granted at this time of year. No we don't and uh, we always play for the opposition's best and, and we saw that a couple of weeks ago with the, with the Saints and we saw what they can do and they were you know, they certainly you know, a real chance against the Bulldogs on the weekend in the last few minutes of the game. So we know that they've still got some good players and we're prepared for their best and we need to be at our best to make sure we put in a competitive effort. And finally, two pretty good reasons to come to the game other than the game itself. Lance Franklin's 200th game and the lap of honour for Lewis Roberts Thompson must be a bit of an exciting build up this week. Yeah, it's fantastic for, for Lance. We know he's been, he was such a sensational player for the Hawthorne Football Club and had such a magnificent career there. And, now he's with us, it's, uh, it's fantastic that he's been able to achieve his 200 game milestone. It's a great, great achievement. He's been a really, you know, a really good asset, obviously, for us and helping us get over the line a few times th during the course of the year. So it's great to have him playing his 200th for this game, 200th AFL game. And also, um, I mean, to have Lewis Roberts Thompson announce his retirement during the week and walk a, a, a lap at half time is a great acknowledgement to the fans who have been so, so supportive of him during his whole career. So it's, Hopefully there's plenty of people there to say goodbye to him.